this uh, video I'm going to do my usual flight what well, I've been practicing live which has been a bit of a mess and it's going to be an IFR flight we're going to do a VOR approach and uh, we'll see how we um, get there this time I'll just load the flight plan because I've already made it in um, little nav map So I'll just bring it up. That's loaded. So that's going to be the um, flight plan. So we're going to go Inverness, Bond B, go to Chin, go to this waypoint. I did that on purpose. So I've got a nice approach coming to the uh, Wick Airport. Let's change that to daytime. That's about, that's about right. And I'll load this up in a little nav map as well. So this is my uh, other program used for navigation. Um, I'll do a video on this, how to set this up. But it's really good. Um, you'll have a live flight here, just like the VFR um, flight map inside this game. But uh, I know that's causing problems for a lot of people, causing it to crash. But uh, I use this, so it will show the plane flying exactly the same flight path live where we are. So I'll just move that to one side. And uh, I'll see you on the runway. So we're on the runway now at Inverness. Looks like a nice day. Sun's out perfect flying conditions it seems like uh, I'm not sure what the wind is there's the wind uh, it doesn't tell me I'm not bothered about the wind then got the ATC up we're cleared to fly and um, we'll see how we go on this flight so I've got the uh, VOR frequency um ready so when we approach uh, wick we're going to add that um down here currently it's on uh, 111050 that's the inverness one and um we'll change that as we get closer to wick so we know the approach i'll show you how that works again I think I've sussed out the autopilot, so we'll we'll have a look at this autopilot again because it was it was working different to Microsoft um, FSX. But most of this flight is going to be using this, so we should have a clean flight. Uh, clean flight. And um, I'm not looking for any problems, not any somersaults like my last flight. I don't know what happened there. Okay, so let's just put the uh, trim to uh, take off mode. So that's um, exactly level now, so that's exactly how we want it. So we're going to put in the heading and uh, we're going to put in um, the altitude and everything. I might be able to show you our flight plan. I did look at this and um, where is it? Navlog, here we go. So we're going to fly 341 for 22 miles, that's the heading. Then 53 heading of 53 for 6.5 miles. Then a heading of 45 for 41 miles. Then a heading of 106 as we approach the Wick Airport runway. Now, something I've noticed about the ATC in this game is it's not automatically telling me which way to go or which way to fly I have to keep I have to keep requesting it and uh, that's annoying uh, in FSX it used to just uh, tell you exactly which heading to fly so if you'd have reached um, a certain point let's say we wrote, uh, we reached um, Bonby it will then tell me from Bonby to chin I think it is which way to go and uh, it's not doing that I have to keep I have to keep requesting it and uh, 
that I don't think that's right. It shouldn't be doing that. Because uh, yeah, Chin, yeah, it should tell me when I get to Chin after flying 22 miles from Bonby, it should tell me to automatically, you know, your heading's 53 now. And it's not doing that, so I don't know why. It's, it's I have to actually request it. And that is annoying. But we'll see, maybe that will be changed or some. There's a setting for that, maybe someone can tell me. But let's see how this uh, flight goes. No, I'm not going to record all of it. I'm going to uh, get to um, a good position all the way, you know, flying to Bonby. Then I'll stop the video, and as I'm approaching Chin, I'll start it again. Otherwise, you're going to be sitting here for ages. We're not doing a live video, so we'll do it in stages. So I'm going to release my parking brake. Take my flaps off. Pressing F5. Just about approaching 50. Take off time. Yep. There we go. Just slowly, slowly increasing. Let's have a look outside. So takeoff's been nice. No problems on the takeoff. So ATC hasn't told me um, which way to go yet. Still, obviously, uh, here we go. So let's contact the Scottish Centre. So here we go, it's told me to continue to Bonby as planned. Hasn't told me the heading, it's told me the altimeter 2992. Uh, but I'm going to request the waypoint the vector. So 340 is the uh, heading. So we'll just make a turn. Too, uh, a bit too wild. Okay, so what I want to do now is try and get the Ailto pilot set up because um, we are um, heading in the right direction now. So there, I've just changed the trim, so I'm not touching uh, the joystick now, and um, just move the joystick left. I'm not, you know, using it to go up or down. It's just on its nice trajectory, doing it on its own. So we'll get the autopilot going. We're on a course of three. A little bit to the left, it's going that way anyway. Three forty, which is where we want. And let's start the autopilot. Increase the altitude. It wants us to go to 5000. So, what we have to do now, it's on the VS mode, which is um, put that vertical speed mode, but we want it on standard autopilot. And um, this way, I can increase the Altitude. The VS, the vertical speed is rate of climb. And what I've noticed on this is, so we've got this set up. It's not flying yet to five thousand. 
Now what I can do is go back to VS mode. I've set this to 5000 now, so that's in its memory. That's how it's, you know, uh, it's going to save that now in its uh, memory bank, let's call it. So if I want the rate of climb to be steep, if I just click this, it's going to really increase at a fast pace. You're going to see this now. Look at that. So it's gone really at a steep angle. Vertical speed is crazy. And it's going to dip my speed loads. So I think you can uh, reduce that. A better way is to stick, go on to VS mode, vertical speed mode and set your own rate of increase so I'll put it to a thousand so you'll see this vertical speed indicator is stay at a thousand and just to let you lot know I'm not a pilot uh, I've got no flying experience or anything um, okay that's because the speed is we're too low so we're climbing up too fast, so if I just dip that down to 400, 300, it will carry on doing it slowly. In fact, I might even just have to do it on 100. See, that what, that's what happens when we, when we did it without the vertical speed uh, indicator. It, um, it shot up using the uh, up and down and I'm not sure what that the previous way of doing it I'm not sure why uh, you do it that way but uh, this is a uh, you've, you've got more control this way anyway you can see our speed coming back up so we're just going to check on a little nav where we are we've got our heading So you can see here we're flying nicely now on the flight path. Yeah, we're still uh, climbing slowly, so that's no problem. So I can just increase that vertical speed slightly, 300. So yeah, so we're on the way there now. So um. I'll pause the video uh, on my end and then you'll next see me when I've hit Bonby and we'll be on a different heading flying that way so I'll see you on that part right welcome back not a lot's happened um, some nice views though so we're nearly approaching um, Bonby a windmill farm, um, not windmill, what do you call them? Yeah, that's what they are, aren't they? Wind power um, farm thing. Alright, so clear to chin. But it hasn't told me which way to go, so now I'm going to. It told me to go to Chimp, but it hasn't told me which way to go. So I'm going to request that now. Zero three five. So I've got the heading on the autopilot now. I enabled that while I was offline. So zero three five. We'll do that. So just change that. Zero three five. Oh, not zero two five. Yes, copied. So that's just that's about zero three five. So let's have a look where we are. 
Again, we're nicely on the flight flight path there. It should be going zero fifty one, but it's told me three five. So it's um. I don't think it loads its own. No, it should do. It should tell me to go to that um, destination. We'll see. Because this has been loaded into the game, so we'll have a look. But we're still on the uh, correct path anyway. Nice views out there. Really nice views in this game. There's nice Scotland for you. So he wants us to descend. We're on that anyway, 5,100, so that's fine. We're away, we're off the flight path now, so this is what the ATC doesn't let me. Uh, I don't understand about this ATC, but let's request it. told me now to go to 085, it didn't tell me that before, it didn't automatically tell me which is uh, annoying, so you have to constantly keep asking it which way, which way, which way, and it shouldn't be, without using the ATC I could fly it, so we'll just acknowledge that. Zero eight five there. What I'm going to do is now enable my VOR. You can say we're here. Um, and I've already put the VOR frequency in, so if I enable that, this will move. There we go. So we need to fly that way right to get to the VOR. I'm going to request again because I'm crossing this line now. Another vector. It's not going to tell me automatically, obviously. So Scottish Center says the Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf the error requesting vector to next waypoint. Send the X-ray Golf the error and continue to D two thirty two J turning and following heading zero five five. So there you go again. It was letting me go off flight path and uh, now it wants me to go to 055 so we'll do that. So that needs to change, there must be a setting where it automatically tells me which way I'm supposed to be going. So 
so it's not too bad. Zero five five. We, we've turned a little bit to the left now, so it's uh, adjusting itself, which is good. We'll just look outside, round and about. That's a point of view. Um, so that's the point of view. Don't know what it's looking at up there. Farm or something. Some more of these um, windmill things, wind power generators. Didn't realise I had all these up Scotland. It ruins the. Uh, I don't know whether it looks nice or whether it doesn't. For some, they say it ruins the land, but. Not too. Uh, I mean, every time I drive by them, I think they're massive, but I don't think they ruin the land. Right. So I want to go to D two D two three two J, which was on the flight path. Which, if I show you on my navigation map, is. Uh, Ah, it's not. It's sending me somewhere else. So even though I loaded the, uh, we needed to go D two eight five H, but it's sending me down here somewhere. Because I remember that from a previous flight. So what I'm going to do, because I'm not happy with this ATC, I'm going to cancel the IFR. I'm going to fly our own way. Cancel you, mate, because you're not very good. Because the nav log, there's my nav log. That's what the ATC should have told me to go. It's all loaded in, so I don't know what it's doing. It's just telling me it's in route, but goodbye. We won't be having you anymore. So let's have a look where we are. We'll sort our own path out according to the flight path here. So D285H45, it wanted us to go. So if I move that to 45, move our heading to 45. It's gonna start putting us in the right direction. Oops, there we go. So it's just slightly turning now, you see. So normally I use uh, the VATSIM charts. For some reason, it's not loading. But we want to be 1,500 in altitude, um, about five miles away from the airport. And then two miles away from the airport, we want to be half of that, which is about 700. That's what it shows you on the approach chart, which is in my previous videos. But uh, for some reason, I don't know what's happened to that sim tonight, but it's not loading the uh, charts. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause the video again. So, and uh, yeah, you don't have to watch the whole thing. And I'll restart it when we are uh, just at this D285H. Alright, so continuing on, you can see on the flight path now we're um, approaching that. And when we reach that um, point, we're going to be 10, uh, we're going to be 8 miles out from the airport. Just move that to one side. Now if you remember what I said, five miles out we need to be 1500 alt altitude. That's a pity I haven't got the approach chart and it's not working tonight. But that tells you exactly uh, your approach descent 
in terms of the altitude and you know how far away you are from the landing and if you look at this because we're tuned into the VOR we're 20 miles out the distance here is 20 nautical miles so I might start reducing because I don't want a drastic dive at the end which is normally what happens so let's go back to our um, autopilot go down to 4100 so you can see that it's going down there at a very fast rate um, should have done it the other way but never mind speed's gone ballistically high so it'll level itself out in a minute so we're still a few miles out from D285H this little map thing is so handy I love it can actually separate this, I should actually do that, but I'll just leave it as it is for now. So we're just slightly off the path, so if I just, because I've still got my autopilot on, just move that, just move it slightly to the right. And this is showing us that the um, airport is still to the right of us. If I move this, you can see we're going to the VOR as well, that's what that arrow is showing to. It was very hard to see in the previous game, but in this one it's a lot easier to see. FSX, you couldn't see the arrows properly. Basically this doesn't change, as, um, it doesn't change the direction of the plane or anything, it's just like where we are in relation to the VOR or to the airport. Now look, the arrow is from, so you want it in the centre, but this is, if I was to fly that head in, I'd be going away, directly away from the VOR, because the arrow is turned to from. At a head in, if I flew a head in of 250, 60, I'd be flying directly away from the VOR. So from my non-pilot expert understanding, I'll turn this around, so it goes to, that arrow changes to 2. And when this line comes back into the center, that's the heading we need to be flying if I was to fly directly to the VOR. And I'll tell you what that means. So now my heading is here, if you just look at the heading, it's on the, it's about 35, 3035. Uh, if I was to fly that course there, 6, 7, just under 8, on our map you can see this we're going to be flying around but if I was to fly 08 it would this would be the line it would fly directly to that uh, airport VOR so that's what this does so as I'm moving away from it, you can see it's going I'm going away from it so the line is slowly slowly moving to the right again because that's where it is it is to the right of us so that's the that's how to use VOR navigation at a very basic level. So I'll just change that because we were going off the uh, flight path and uh, I'll just pause it here until we approach the uh, waypoint because it's still a few minutes away. Right, so we're just approaching that point now. You can see on this map, flying directly to that little D285H. And when I do approach that, we need to be flying a heading of 107. So if I change that now to 107, that's 107. Uh, 
Yeah, you can see with the. We're going to start reducing the altitude now. We're eight miles out, seven miles out. I'm still um, 3,100. Right, so if I go down to 2,100. See, it's a bit of. The weather's a bit cloudy, but. Um, should be able to see the airport soon. So six miles out, five miles out need to be 1,500. So I'm a bit high. So we'll just we'll just um, get it down. Here's the airport, flying directly to it now. So there you go, I'm just that's the heading and we're flying directly to it, which which is similar to what we've got here now. So this is like an autopilot approach. I mean, the altitude's still not down. Where I want it to be. So we've descended late. I'm about three miles out now. And uh, we'll take the autopilot off, I think, and then descend. Throttle down. So I think I started moving a bit late. We can do a kamikaze landing, I think. I didn't really approach it very well, but you get the gist of it. We'll bring some flaps into action. There we go. It's going to be the uh, landing of the year. If I recover from this, this is going to be great. But like I said, I'm not professional. And this is way better than my other one. Throttle off. Didn't do too bad. Flaps are fully extended. Nose is up. Not bad, and I haven't got. I've got actually crash landings enabled, so we didn't do bad at all. I think I did well. Brakes are on. And there you have it. And um, it wasn't too bad. There we are on the runway. Okay, I approached the uh, runway a bit late because um, this is what happened. So I was following the flight path. As you can see, the flight path actually is going straight to the VOR, where I should have adjusted for the runway further back. So it would have been better coming from this point. So if we fly to that point there, across there, and then we would have been more directly approaching the uh, runway. But that's not a bait. That's not too bad as a, a non-pilot gamer, just understanding VOR flight. I mean, I did this last time on the FSX, like my previous videos show. 
I just want to make sure I have got crash landings on because I'm just going to check assistance failure and damage crash damage enabled yeah so if the landing was bad I would have I would have died so I was quite happy with that I mean this aircraft stress damage engine stress damage that's disabled I don't think we would have had much of that anyway I think it would have been alright with that but I'm happy with that that's enabled so basically if that landing was disastrous I would have been dead but no it's been a nice flight sunny Scotland um, landed well happy with that landing and I'm thinking I'm getting used to the autopilot as well now most of that was autopilot if you have a look at my previous two videos they are called noob flights one and two um, you'd see it was a bit all over the place I even did a somersault in one of them but yeah I'm getting better at this so uh, I'll be doing another hour flight I think next week uh, a live stream I don't know why I'm telling you that in a recording but uh, I'll be doing more recordings as well of flights but I hope that helped anyone that's trying to learn VR or navigation I'm not sure about the ATC I think they need to sort that out um, but that was a neat VOR flight and uh, showed you uh, the little nav map as well how you can use that I didn't show you the charts but I'll do that in the next flight because like I say that sim wasn't working so great see you in the next video